In preparation for this channel, I have been doing a lot of research, okay? This is not something that I have taken lightly. Those of you who have followed me on Maha Maven know that I have posted this channel months ago. I haven't gone live with it or pushed it very heavily until now because now I feel like I have done a fair amount of research to prepare content that will be helpful for you in empowering and bettering yourself. So I just wanted to let you know that. In the course of this research, you guys, the content that I saw that is being geared towards young men on how to date women, some of it is just the most toxic, degrading material that you will ever, ever see or lay eyes on. I am telling you that there are men who have made entire livings, they pay their rent, they pay their bills, using the money that they have made making content that teaches other men how to degrade and manipulate you on a mental, emotional, and sometimes even a spiritual level. I'm telling you this because I've done the research and I've seen it. How to make her obsessed with you. How to make her do whatever you want to do. How to break her down. How to this, how to that. And honestly, it made me really mad. It made me really mad because I was watching these videos and I was recognizing a lot of these storylines and the stories that women tell me, not just my girlfriends, but also stories that you guys have sent me to my DMs. And I'm like, this is where they're getting this stuff. This is where these idiots are training. <laughs> and then they come and be applying their, their foolish knowledge. And it made me so upset and I had to come on and film this video. All of these videos, right? All of these videos that I've seen geared to men, teaching them how to manipulate and take advantage of women. A lot of it is rooted in a common factor. And that is in a lack of self-esteem, sort of taking advantage of a lack of self-esteem in a woman taking advantage in a need for validation in a woman, okay? And taking advantage of a woman's desire to be in a relationship at all costs. And that is sort of tied into the need for validation. Men understand that in society today, we live in a culture that sort of ties a woman's worth, beauty, you know, et cetera, et cetera, to her ability to keep a man. So those are sort of the things that all of these platforms dedicated to training men, to date women, have in common. And so I want to teach you how to be player proof, okay? That's what this series is all about, how to be player proof, how to be the woman that he can't crack. Even if you don't end up tying him down, listen, that's fine. The goal here is not to get a man. The goal here is to date successfully and effectively and not be taken advantage of a man who doesn't want you. Because I think sometimes women, we misunderstand, right? You have a guy who is toxic. He is nobody's prize, all right? He is unfaithful. He is disloyal. He's a liar. He's a cheat. And you are determined to lock him down because you think that that means that you won over all of the women that he's entertaining while he claims you. Sis, the fact that he claims you, you have won nothing. In fact, you have lost. You have lost. He is not yours. He is for, say it with me, everybody. And he will continue to be for everybody. So the best thing that you can do is walk away. And that takes self-respect that takes dignity, that takes strength, that takes an understanding that your validation does not come from your relationship status. It does not come from another man. It comes from within, okay? You have to be someone who is self-validating. That is what this series is all about. When you are self-validating, you can date and enjoy the process of getting to meet the person who is ultimately meant for you. It doesn't feel like, oh, I'm sick of dating. I'm sick. I have never heard a man say, oh, I'm sick of dating. Oh my gosh, when is it going to just work out already? As women, we need to adopt some of the mentality that these men have. Okay, if you're dating, understand that it's a process. That is why I plugged this book real quick. I will do an entire video on this book because it is that outstanding. But someone asked me what my favorite book on relationships was. And they asked for a Christian book. This is called Single Dating Engaged Married. And it is by a man named Ben Stewart. And when I tell you 
I was reading a lot when I was doing content that was very focused on relationships. I was doing a lot of reading. I'm not going to get on here and pull something out of my butt and tell it to women across the world or across the country that this is good advice because I care about you. I care about you. I'm accountable. So I want to give you good information. I read a ton of books. This is one of the best ones, if not the best one I've ever read. It's written from a Christian perspective. And I'll go more in depth on the book. But one of the things I learned from this book is that dating is not a status. Like, stop seeing the goal of dating to be attaining a certain status. Oh, he's my boyfriend. Oh, he's my fiance. Oh, he's my husband. Dating should not be a status for you. Dating should be a process of evaluation. You meet someone. You're attractive. I, I, like, I like what I'm seeing. Let's talk, right? I'm attracted to you. Okay, let's talk. What are your values? How do you think? What do you prioritize in life? Who do you answer to? Are you accountable to someone outside of yourself? These are all things that you should be asking because listen, he loves you, yes, and that's well and good. But if he is not accountable to something outside of himself, if he doesn't value integrity, honesty, truth, loyalty in himself outside of his relationship with you, that's risky ground. So I'm here to tell you that he needs to be someone who values integrity, honesty, loyalty. He needs to value those things independent of his love for you. And it sounds like I'm it sounds like I'm not talking anything, but I'm talking talk. You understand? So this series is going to be about how to be the type of self-validating woman that is not going to be vulnerable to the attacks, to the strategy, to the manipulation that a lot of these men will deploy in order to play with your mind so that you become so beholden to them that you can't even take a stand for yourself. I am going to teach you how to be the kind of woman who walks. I'm going to teach you to be the kind of woman who does not tolerate hot and cold, back and forth, inconsistency and that comes again from being someone who is validated from within are men trash some of them some of them are some of them are do I believe in saying men are trash no I don't because that is toxic for you all right that's not that's not the mindset that you want but even when you do come across a man who is quote-unquote trash you will be able to get out of that situation unscathed, waste no time, if you follow along and pay attention to what I am going to share with you, okay? You will have all of that at your fingertips. So, subscribe, like this video if you enjoyed it, share it with all your girlfriends, all right? These videos are going to be a little bit longer than my typical videos, so when you see the upload, get your cup of wine, get your glass of tea, we flip that, get your glass of wine, get your cup of tea, whatever you drink, sit down, get comfortable, we're going to get into these topics deep, get a couple girls together, okay, get a watch party going, they want to make content about how to play, how to play games, how to do nonsense, we too have our own contents, okay, we too have our own, our own gist, so I got you guys, I love you guys, and I'll see you in my next video, bye.